we are at the Shelburne Museum just south of Burlington, Vermont on Route 7. It's a humongous uh, farm museum and um, we just got here the same time as a bus. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if this is good or bad. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad and we can show you around. We've got two cameras. We've got the GoPro and we've got the Canon. So we'll see if we can get a good video of the Shelburne Museum. And here goes the wind. Sorry. This is I, all I really know about this museum is it has a round barn. <laughs> round barns were fairly common in the old days around Vermont, northern New York. I'm not sure why. I guess it was easier to get the cows in there and lined up, but it also has a steamship in the middle of the thing. Let's see how much this costs. Of course, like every place in Vermont, it has tons of stuff to buy. Lots of hippie stuff. Nice lilac garden. Beautiful smell. Great old buildings. Constructed in 1957 for the museum. Authentic water wheel. A diorama of how it would work. There's a piece of tree that was sawn. Make a nice coffee table. He used a great big straight saw and just mechanized the person that would normally do it. This is supposed to be a settler's cabin. All the cooking pots on the floor and on the walls and all the timber frames. Very neat. Kiln oven, I think. Settler's barn. Wow. Look at the boards on this thing. Would be, it would appear the big stone house is mostly wooden furniture, <laughs> antique furniture. They do a good job, they even put mirrors under the furniture so you can see up underneath how it's made. Um, the, what we call a parlor one day, and explaining that what I had been told uh, <clears throat> is that the paneling was brought from Essex, Connecticut, using the inside. And the man to whom I was speaking said, oh, well, he said, I'll tell you, some of that was made right here. And he said, I know because I worked on it. <laughs> so, so we were always hearing this story. Yeah. Horseshoe Barn Annex, it says. Carriages, all carriages. Look at that. Hope some of this shows up. That 
big old schooner. It's a prairie schooner right there. Tack. What's all that stuff up there do? <laughs> do you want me to tell you? <laughs> do, see all those cards on the left? Yeah. Well, if you look at all the strings coming down, and there's they're like metal on the bottom of each one of yeah. those strings. Yeah. Each one of those strings is attached to a warp thread. Right. And the so cards are all programmed. This is the first computer. The punch holes in those things, so it goes around. If you see, it comes up like that, and it goes around and comes back down. It tells which strings by the card punches are to come up and down and when it does that you can get these patterns that are very diverse you don't like in a typical like um you can you have okay. four harnesses or eight or ten or twelve or sixteen but you don't have a thousand and so you can, the variations are huge of what so if you look at this fabric it's one color on one side and one color on the other side you've got so many yeah things yeah the warp double, the weave Oh, more buggies. These ain't no Amish buggies. Look at this little tiny bitty stagecoach. That's very little. <laughs> a little Surrey with the fringe on top. Buffalo jacket, leggings. These are all sleighs on this side. Look at this. Is that impressive? That's a big, that's a big covered bridge. Go in it and see if it's too dark. It has a uh, fire extinguisher at one end here. But look at the strength and the structure of this thing. And they've got netting on it to protect it from the birds. And the boards we're walking on are boards on end. It's impressive. My kind of place. Nowhere fast. Uh oh, I came in the exit. <laughs> the big question is did they make these on that loom in the other room? boxes. <laughs> Must have been a billion of these. The women's hats were important. Quilts. Doorways for little tiny 
the kids. Look at all these toys. This is just amazing. Oops. Grimshaw. Wow, look at these. These are cool. Glass canes. so hard to add. Bottles and clothing. And that's over here. They're showing how a lot of these work. The schoolhouse. What is this all for? No, is this all sculpture? It is a combination of different folk arts and primitives. Lots of uh, cigar store figurines. Some whirly gigs. Oh, is that what these are? Cigar store figurines? Yeah, yeah. Some sort of product. Sometimes it's, if it's a woman, it's tea. This is a cigarette it's over here. Yeah. Neat. And uh, this particular structure was down in Sherlock, if you're familiar with that. Yeah. So yeah. they moved it up here when she started the museum. So it's pretty much just like it was. Including the four words. Back in 1950, somewhere in there? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and this is Mrs. Webb. This was done for Life magazine. And this is this particular, these are some of the first things that she collected when she was in her 20s. And these were some. Oh, so this was like an inn? Yeah, yeah. This oh. was a stagecoach. So oh, imagine that's if right. you were going from like Boston or New York up to Montreal. They were like t every 10 miles or something, there would be a stagecoach. It's fresh worse. The Stagecoach Inn, huh? This is a pretty cool place. It's more than what it looks like. There's an awful lot of stuff here. And I avoided the commercialized coffee shop and sandwich shop and all that stuff. You got an extra seat? I think I can manage. All right, I'll squeeze in in the middle here. Are you headed anywhere in particular? Oh, we are at the big round barn. We're going in in the bottom. Out at the top, I imagine. It's probably dark as heck in here. More carriages. This is a hearse, by the way, in case you didn't notice that. Let's go up the stairs. More very big and ornate carriages. Brewster and Company in New York, New York. A roof seat brake carriage, 1890.
polychrome wood, iron, leather, and fabric. Tailgating at sporting events is not a modern phenomenon. This light brake and adaption of the heavier vehicles used to brake or train horses to harness was used by the donor and her husband who drove it often to football games at Princeton. How cool. Boston to New York and Albany and Buffalo. How would you like to go there and that thing? It's one big round barn. I wonder who paints it every year. This is quite a place. I've been here an hour and 15 minutes so far and I've only seen half of it. So let's see what else is here. And this is really cool. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to have to walk through the whole thing. This is all circus stuff. Miniature parade. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Over on the other side, we have all these old carousel animals. Used to be in carousels and stuff. Quite interesting. We're going to go faster. That would have been a fun carousel ride. Some small chariots. That's pretty neat. And the circus is done and over with. The Barnum and Bailey Ringling Brothers Circus. This is what it used to be three rings of entertainment. Now we are going this way into the wind, so it's probably going to be a little windy here. There's some old log cabins. We're gonna skip those. This is a really neat little place here. Ticonderoga. It used to be in Lake.
Wow, this is the actual shaft that turns the wheel. <laughs> in the stateroom, huh? Poor guy, single bed. Like one of those steamer trunks. Big ol' steam stack, smoke stack. Two great big boilers. You can't go all the way up to the top. I'm really disappointed. <laughs> 